magicless mushrooms, plant pioneers, and life on Mars? Question mark. This is five science stories for you in three minutes or less. No time to waste. Let's get started. Magic mushroom edibles don't actually have any magic. Psilocybin is a psychoactive compound in magic mushrooms, and it's been approved in some parts of the U.S. for recreational use. But researchers tested 12 unregulated magic mushroom edible products in the Portland area and found no psilocybin in any of them. Yikes. Even worse, seven of the tested products had at least one undisclosed active ingredient, some of which are synthetic drugs that haven't been tested for safety in humans yet. Double yikes. Early research on psilocybin shows that it is promising for use in therapy, but unregulated products like these will cause harm. A fossil of a new species was discovered that changes our understanding of reptile evolution. The 242 million year old fossil is dubbed the Agriodontosaurus. It's the oldest known lepidosaur. Lepidosaurs include lizards, snakes, and New Zealand's tuatara. Agriodontosaurus is related to the tuatara, but it has some differences in its skull. The tuatara has a solid yugal bone that connects back here, but the yugal bone of the Agriodontosaurus leaves an opening that allows for greater jaw flexibility like we see in other lepidosaurs. Between that and its larger, sharper teeth, this shows that even pretty early lepidosaurs had some major variations that would lead to successes later on. The coldest living eukaryote was discovered in the Arctic. Eukaryotes are basically any living thing that's not bacteria, so animal, plants, fungi, and algae. These single-celled algae, known as diatoms, were found years ago and assumed dormant, but a recent study found that they move and thrive all the way down to negative 15 degrees Celsius, or 5 degrees Fahrenheit. For reference, humans start to get hypothermia when our body temperature drops below 95 Fahrenheit, just 3 degrees below our normal temperature. These diatoms may play a major role in the Arctic food chain and hints at an icy biome that's more lively than we expected. A unique ecosystem is giving scientists a look into how plants recolonize after natural disasters. The island of Nishinoshima is formed by an active volcano that has reset all local plant life multiple times. A recent study completed some genetic analysis to find the origin and evolution of pursley, one of the local plant species, before it was wiped out. They found that the Nishinoshima population likely spread from Chichijima, another volcanic island nearby. The population of Pursley on the island had a distinct genotype, meaning they were all similar to each other, but were genetically slightly different from the populations on Chichijima or mainland Japan. This work gives us a better understanding of how plant populations are established and develop over time after disasters. And finally, a recent paper shows our most solid evidence yet of potential life on Mars. These tiny leopard spots on a rock sample from an ancient riverbed are the result of a unique chemical reaction that would likely only occur either under extreme heat or as a result of microbes. But there's no evidence that this area would have had the heat necessary for the thermal explanation. This is not definitive evidence, it's just the best we have yet, but it does mirror the stromatolites, the earliest signs of life we have on Earth. These spots are about 3.5 billion years old, and the earliest chemical signs of life we have on Earth are from about 3.4 billion years ago. We won't have anything definitive unless and until we can bring the sample back to Earth for testing. And that's all for now. You can support me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and subscribe for more next week.